Irish Grand National. On the run towards the first, Gaz's girl with on the inside Divalet. They dispute the lead. Udice is right up with them. One for Shannon. Chelsea Harbour, a new story towards the outside with Patsy Hall, and then we three. Owl Art is towards the inside. And all safely over the first, on towards number two of the 24 fences. And Divalet towards the inside with Gaz's girl. Then one for Shannon. On the inside is Udice. Chelsea Harbour is just all over the second okay just to say Sedgefield they're about to jump off you can watch all the Sedgefield action on your red button back to the big one lead with Chelsea Harbour Gaza's girl Udice and one for Shannon is close up towards the outside as they go out over number three well tutored is close up towards the leaders on the inside and all safely standing now as they head towards the top of the hill where Diva with Church Island moving up on the outside now to dispute the lead just behind them is Chelsea Harbour in third and they're being followed by a new story with close to the outside is one for Shannon and we three Udice is just behind them on the inside as they race downhill now to the fifth and Church Island comes to join De Valet. two lengths then to Chelsea Harbour in third one for Shannon is next and they're being followed by Udice who races on the inside of Cloudy Lane We three and Patsy Hall just behind them and they're being followed by GVA Ireland with a new story tracked by Osme Cosmo touch and then out out towards the inside with Dante's Reef not far off with American Jenny as they swing now and race across towards the next fence and matching strides to the seventh fence is Divalais and Church Island they're over clear of Chelsea Harbour in third place they're followed in fourth by Patsy Hall with just behind them Udice then comes Cloudy Lane and behind Cloudy Lane, on the inside is Juvenur. Racing across now to fence number eight, and Church Island is just the leader on the outside of De Valais. Then there's a clear break to Chelsea Harbour, who's touched down just in third place, with alongside one for Shannon. Cloudy Lane is next with Udice, and then comes Mac Three with Patsy Hall close up. Omni Cosmo touches next they're on their approach to the turn into the straight and Church Island is the leader followed in second place by De Valais. they are about six seven in front of Chelsea Harbour one for Shannon is next with Udice racing the rail in company with Cloudy Lane Patsy Hall and then comes Mac 3 towards their outside Omni Cosmo touches just behind with American Jenny Gaza's girl is towards the inside being followed by King's Advocate and Butler's Cabin and Dante's Reef as they jump the second in the straight and on now to the fence that will complete the first circuit and as they come now towards it it is Church Island on the far side from De Valais and then Chelsea Harbour coming up now to jump this fence that completes the first circuit and 12 of the fences see if they all negotiate this one it's a clear round for the 29 so they pass the stands and Church Island and Andrew McNamara lead from in second place De Valais. Chelsea Harbour is next being followed by Cheeky Lady after Cheeky Lady a break of a few lengths to Udice, Cloudy Lane and Juvenure and Patsy Hall then comes Gaza's Girl and Butler's Cabin, Omni Cosmo Touch King's Advocate towards the inside GVA Ireland, American Jenny just after them is Distant Thunder and then comes just behind them Owlart with the new story, Dante's Reef and they're being followed by Marcus de Berlay Well Tutored and Kerryhead Wind Farm Ross River is next and then Kane Bray back towards the end kill Devil Hill with after them coming all in the stars towards the rear with one for Shannon the back marker but up front Church Island and De Valais from Chelsea Harbour cheeky Lady Udice just behind them comes Juvenur as they go now to jump the next fence and climb towards the top of the hill it's still Church Island pulled up as all in the stars going now to the top of the hill and it is Church Island 
and De Valais. They've been one, two throughout. A break of three lengths to Chelsea Harbour. Cheeky Lady is fourth. Udache Gaz's girl is next, and then Cloudy Lane. They're being followed by Patsy Hall with Butler's Cabin. And just behind them, towards the inside, is Nina de Savola as they race down now towards the next just over a mile left to go Church Island from in second place De Valais. then a break to Chelsea Harbour, Cheeky Lady is fourth, Cloudy Lane is fifth and then comes Udiche towards the inside, after them comes Butler's Cabin as they stream away from that and make the turn over on the far side with seven furlongs to go, Church Island leads from in second place De Valais. they're being followed by Chelsea Harbour Cheeky Lady, after them is Patsy Hall towards the outside. Why so Mayo has picked up good ground towards the outside of the leaders. Taking them on now over the next and still Church Island showing just in the lead being followed in second place by De Valais. a few lengths then to Chelsea Harbour and Cheeky Lady as they race now to the final five furlongs and Church Island and Andrew McNamara lead by three to De Valais in second then comes Chelsea Harbour, Cloudy Lane, Cheeky Lady, Udache just behind them with Butler's Cabin as they stream over that one and race now towards the fourth from the finish and Church Island leads by over three lengths to Chelsea Harbour. They're being followed by De Valais. Butler's Cabin, Cheeky Lady Udache is just in behind them as they come now to jump this one and race for the home straight. It is Church Island who's in the lead, being followed by Butler's Cabin and Tony McCoy. Udache is just in behind them. Then comes Chelsea Harbour and racing round the home turn. American Jenny and King's Advocate getting into it as well as they come down now towards the third last Church Island Butler's Cabin American Jenny towards the outside as they race now towards the second last Mayhem there behind but it's Church Island Butler's Cabin American Jenny distant thunder from the back Nina Saviola and Udache just in behind racing to the final fence Butler's Cabin and Tony McCoy come to challenge Church Island American Jenny Nina Saviola towards the inside the final fence four in line Butler's Cabin Nina the Savola towards the inside American Jenny and Church Island but running up towards the finish Butler's Cabin and Tony McCoy won the Powers National for J.P. McManus and John Joe O'Neill second home is Nina the Savola then American Jenny, Dante's Reef, Church Island King's Advocate with Uda Shea next well, I think you'd have to say that's a brilliant training achievement from John Joe O'Neill this horse who collapsed with exhaustion after he won the four miler at the Cheltenham Festival Many people, I'm sure, were a little bit surprised to see him running here today, myself included, but he's justified the decision to bring him across. Always travelled well, and Tony McCoy produced him to lead at the right time. He seemed to just pull himself up a little bit when he got to the front. He has the cheek pieces on just to concentrate. There were so many of them in with a chance here coming to the last. Church Island ran a blinder. Nien de Savola, I'm sure Ferdy Murphy will be proud of him finishing second. But in the end, it's Butler Cabin's day, and uh, we'll just keep our fingers crossed for the horses that fell.